What's up guys, Radical Gamers here and today I'm going to do something li a little bit different. I'm going to be doing a sort of funny moment or a little montage on Dead by Daylight. So here we go. Don't fucking run away from me! At this point, um, the killer was sort of chasing me and got caught and like, should have caught me, really, but didn't, as you'll see in a minute. Is there any background noise? I'm sorry. So um, after a while the killer gave up and that was good for me but even though that happened the end result of the game weren't too good. I got close. Really close. And I still couldn't believe the killer just missed that and didn't even bother to check. Anyway this is how the game ended. With no one trying to help me. Because everyone's on a hook, apart from that one guy. Who decided he could try it solo. Spoiler alert, he died literally after us. After failing to fix a generator. As you can see, one of my teammates died just then. And I'm just struggling in hope for that guy to come get me. As you can see the nurse is already on her way to him there. And he's already started moving. Eventually she gets him. He's trying to do that jumping over the thing. Like vaulting over sank. Didn't work. That's how it ended. Right, so um, I'm just going to speed this bit up. And I decided the only way to escape was to hide behind this bed. And it worked. As for the other person, as you can see, they they got hit, so, yeah. Now this is me being the killer, which I don't usually do. But there you go. Probably my third time being the killer. I find it too easy. Anyway. I don't think they're too happy with being hooked. Especially this one after um, trying to get a friend.
I thought I trapped her in a corner, but I didn't really see that little window there. But she got done anyway. I'm tracking her down, which wasn't really too hard as she's bleeding. Eventually, uh, I'll get her. She she got that done, didn't she? She tried to save her mate. Anyway, um, the last bit I was trying to find this guy. He was the last guy left. So um, my brother told me to check the boxes because I forgot to check. This what happened. Wait, am I gonna do it yet? Yeah, so I checked the first one, and he should have run away whilst ch whilst I was checking that one. Anyway. Anyway, that didn't really help him out, and I succeeded again with no generators lost. As you can see, those five still. This part really amazed me, as the killer literally ran right past me the first time. And then look, you can see he runs around the corner, and I'll just do it again. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. So, um, I kept on running, and I kept on going and going and going. And this bit, I thought I was dead, because he started revving up the chainsaw. And, um... He managed to miss me somehow when I was running in a straight line, which was stupid. Then I just sat behind these cinder blocks and in plain sight he just missed me and ran around the corner. Which just amazed me because he literally watched me sit behind him, sit behind the cinder blocks. I mean, how do you actually miss that? Anyway, for this one, um, I was just running away from the killer at this point. And um, I thought I'd escaped. And then I heard the heartbeat and I saw him just in the cornfields. So I decided to move towards him where, oh, he, he, he wouldn't expect. And he literally ran straight past me twice. And this time I thought he saw me because he ran straight towards the, the thing and literally took two different directions around it. And I, I was crapping myself. So I kept on moving. <gasps> and again, I thought he saw me, so I kept on moving again. And he didn't. So yeah, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.